minerals, metals, and materials. It's a global industry that creates hundreds of thousands of jobs across Canada and accounts for more than 20% of our domestic exports. Although it's one of Canada's most important industries, it's also one of its most misunderstood. But the time for change is now. We're not very good marketers, right? We're not very good branders. The, the industry has lots and lots and lots to be proud of and, and makes significant contributions to the world that we live in. Many people don't connect the minerals and metals we extract to the tools that are at the very core of our modern life, from computers and smartphones to vehicles and now electric vehicles. To better understand the industry's challenges and opportunities, CIM reached out to some key industry leaders. They shared how the industry's practices have been changing, particularly in areas like innovation, diversity and sustainability. I think um, sustainability is a key expectation of our stakeholders. Uh, there's increasing demands at all levels, whether it's government or whether you're talking communities, whether you're talking investors. There's one thing that's very clear in my mind that we all aligned on the impact and the importance that we have as a collective to, to do our mining operations and planning and, and projects in a sustainable, acceptable manner. The industry is also rapidly adopting advanced technologies and automating all aspects of operations. This innovation is leading to safer mines and more sustainable practices. I sort of implicit in this is an agile approach, which is something that we also um, look at very seriously. And that's how do you set up small independent groups that look at a backlog of items that they can deliver on, take a few of those, make them happen, and then have a rapid feedback loop. I believe that from an innovation perspective, we're a bit in an acceleration curve. The most exciting thing in, in recent times has been the, you know, the artificial intelligence or AI kind of utilization and ability to crunch data and, and come up with uh, meaningful actions to be taken uh, to improve not only equipment operation, but mill performance uh, uh, and just overall efficiency. And I think we should be thinking or focusing a lot more on the technology going forward. Uh, there's different ways of doing that, whether it's larger companies reinstating those kind of technology center or having some university collaboration with the industry and really funding those centers that would uh, focus on developing new technology. This drive for more innovation is opening up new opportunities to create a more diverse and inclusive workforce with new skills and new ideas. We look across the business, whether it's the operators, maintainer, mill rights, engineers, we've got a lot of people from visible minority. I think it first starts with making sure you have an environment or a culture that's welcoming to all the different uh, groups. It's a lot about education and showing that the mining industry is a lot more inclusive than it used to be, just because the jobs are more available to a more diverse pool of talent. In a time of such change, organizations like CIM are playing an even more important role, helping act as a forum for best practices and sharing ideas and technical knowledge. CIM really provides that platform for industry participants, being producers or suppliers or consultants, to really come together and then share you know, accomplishment, developments, uh, best practices, those type of items. You know, it's not about we don't look at the neighbor as a competitor, but more as somebody that we can learn from. So I see the CIM is very important in, in it being that medium of exchange across the businesses. The industry is in good hands, but the next generation will be even better equipped to meet today's challenges and those of tomorrow. We're really starting to invest when it comes to developing our people. We're going to have to continue to expand our knowledge and expertise. And this, in effect, is going to uh, improve every area of mine. If I can use this opportunity to talk to, to the next generation, to the leaders of the future, mining needs each and every one of, of you to help to contribute to create this better world. What does the mining industry look like in the future? Well, I'm rather hoping that it's not going to be, you know, where the historical situation has been, which has been a number of crusty sort of old gentlemen. I'm rather hoping that as part of that very successful future, this is going to be a young, gender diverse, energetic and enthusiastic group of people that's really helping accelerate our business into the future.